What's going on, guys? My name is Ryan with Michigan Storm Chasers here. A common question that gets asked a lot, either by message or comment or on our live streams, is why are my sirens sounding if I'm not under a tornado warning? Or alternatively, why are my sirens not sounding and I'm under, under a warning of some type? I'm going to hope this video clears some of that confusion up. I'm going to dive into how sirens work and what triggers those, all right? So the first thing to realize here is we have two main types of severe warnings here in Michigan. Your classic tornado warning, and you also have severe thunderstorm warnings. Both can, depending on the area, trigger your sirens to go off, all right? Let's go ahead and define what a severe storm is first and foremost. So. Back in 2021, the NWS changed the criteria and levels of a severe thunderstorm. So right now, it goes as follows. Your base damage category or the base tag is 58 mile per hour winds or and or one inch sized hail, which is equivalent to a quarter in diameter. That is your base to trigger a severe thunderstorm warning. But we do have levels now of severe warnings. It's confusing, I know, but this is pretty simple once you get the hang of it. So that's your base tag. Let's go up to one tag here to considerable. It says wind 70 miles per hour. Your orange, uh, your orange uh, middle bar there, as I'm looking at now, that's considerable. 70 mile per hour winds and or golf ball size hail, which is 1.75 inches in diameter. That would be tagged as considerable. And then there's also destructive now, which is the highest level of severe warning. That is 80 mile per hour winds or baseball size hail, which is equivalent to 2.75 inches in diameter. All right. So with that being defined now, that is your categories. But the question remains, why do sirens sound sometimes for severe warnings over tornadic warnings. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and jump into tornado warnings and what triggers and who sounds them, all right? So first and foremost, your tornado sirens here across the USA are sounded by five or so. Sometimes there's occasional uh, instances where, you know, it's different, but your main five ways that are going to sound your sirens are gonna be number one, your county dispatch, your emergency dispatchers. They can and sometimes do sound those sirens. Number two is your emergency managers. Each county has a defined set of emergency managers. Sometimes it's one person or multiple who are in charge of sounding their sirens. Number three, township officials. Similar to emergency managers, some townships have their officials like the mayor or sometimes this goes with number four, fire department officials, your fire department chiefs. They'll sometimes make those decisions. It varies per township per county. And then also number five, this is where it's going to come in. We're going to discuss this a little bit further. Your number five is automated per criteria, okay? There is no one set criteria across the USA for what sounds sirens. I'll use my county and the neighboring county, for example. For those of you who are local to Southeast Michigan, I personally live in Lenawee County, which is by the Ohio border, as far Southeast as you can go. And over to my East is Monroe County. In Lenaway County, the tornado sirens are sounded as an individual basis per fire department or per township. Now, some townships opt that whenever a warning gets issued, sirens sound. Other townships opt that they send their spotters out, or if they're watching radar and they see something interesting via, via eyes or on radar, at that point, they sound the sirens. Okay, But the county next to me, Monroe County, Whenever a tornado warning is issued anywhere in the county, the entire county sirens will sound off. A perfect example of this was last year. We had a tornadic storm by Lake Erie. I forgot the name. I think it's Detroit Beach or around that area on Lake Erie. We had a very small tornado warning issued there with no storm behind it. So the warning got issued, even though the storm was in a very localized area in the county the entire county sirens began to sound. Make sense? So even though your sirens do go off, sometimes it's automated, sometimes it's uh, 
because something was spotted. Sometimes it's just because we're seeing something on radar. It varies per township and per county. It really just depends on what your local municipality decides. Okay. Now, some sirens will sound for severe thunderstorm warnings. Going back to the tags. Usually speaking, the base tag, 58 mile per hour winds and quarter size hail, I believe most townships and most officials decide not to opt their sirens. It's a typical thunderstorm or a typical severe storm. It's We get those multiple times a year. When you get to those considerable and destructive 70 to 80 plus mile per hour winds and in golf ball size hail or higher, at that point, some cities do opt to sound their sirens for those. Even though there may not be a tornadic risk, the risk is still high enough to life and property that we want people to be aware indoors and taking shelter. Okay. So again, recapping this, it's different per county and even per county into your townships. It can be different per your township. It is not one set criteria. There are multiple ways sirens work, but at the end of the day, sirens should be your last line of warning defense. I'll say that again. These are tornado sirens aka also known as outdoor warning sirens okay please do not rely on only sirens to give you warning have multiple ways to receive warnings we recommend weather radios we recommend having your red cross emergency app here your eas alerts on your phone there is a lot of there's six ways we recommend you can find that on our page and under the description, actually put in the description below of there's six ways to receive warnings. Sirens should be your very last resort as they are not meant to be heard inside your house. If you can, great, but sirens are not the end all to your warning process. Okay. So hopefully that answers your questions. It varies quite greatly here per township, per county. We have no idea what each county does, what each township does. So it's different and it sounded differently in each location. So emphasizing that, I hope that answers your questions. If you guys continue to have questions, feel free to comment. We'll get back to you. With that being said, you guys have an excellent day. Thank you for watching. Be sure to hit the like button for me on your way out and consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any content like this, as well as severe weather live stream coverage here at Michigan Storm Chasers.